Like, I knew people who would, like, drink or smoke or do drugs or whatever, and they were never in trouble. Like, they were always doing whatever the fuck they wanted. And it was like, why the fuck am I grounded for half the year? Because I didn't take the goddamn garbage out when someone asked right away. Like, I understand, you know, maybe I should have taken it out a little faster, but... Do I really need to be grounded for three months because of it? Like, I don't think so. Like, it, it really upset me. Like, I was pretty depressed most of the time. That mushroom just disappeared. I was pretty depressed most of the time. Like, it was... It was pretty saddening. Really. Like, I had nothing to do. Like, I, I couldn't go out and do anything. And even if I wanted to, like, I didn't have a whole, a whole lot of friends that I could go and hang out with. And to, you know, make things worse... Like, now I'm grounded at home. I don't have any video games. I don't- I can't go on the computer. There's no internet. Like, I'm pretty much just sitting here doing nothing. I'm going to school and coming back and doing nothing for the majority of my day. And it sucked. Like, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I deserved every bit of it. But it fucking blew. Oh, good. I'm dead. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm glad you could throw in a, a lock or two here while I'm trying to be Fat Sumo Bonsai Balloony Mario. I really appreciate it. It is really fantastic. Hey, look, another balloon. There you go, before we die. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that happened that I'm um, so... Oh, it's right there, too. I'm trying to remember, like, if there's anything... I'm sure there was tons of stupid shit that I got grounded for, like... There was one time that I was asked to bring down some hangers. I'm pretty sure. Do you know what, you know, a clothes hanger? You know, little metal or plastic things you put clothes on, like those things. I don't really use those anymore. I just I just fold my clothes up, and I have, like, these little portable, like, plastic shelf things that I use. It's pretty neat. Like, I, one time I was asked to bring down some hangers, because we had a shit ton of metal hangers, because it's, you know, the Stone Age, and that's what we were using. So I was asked to bring some down, and I brought them down, and then they were like, well, this, is, this isn't enough. What is wrong with Yoshi's tongue? That's terrifying. What the fuck happened to his tongue? What is going on? I thought I ate something, but apparently it's just his tongue. So I was asked to bring down, you know, hangers, and apparently I didn't bring down enough. And this kind of annoyed me, because then I had to bring my fat ass back upstairs and get more hangers and bring them back down. So I guess I gave a little bit of an attitude. And guess what? I was already grounded at the time. Shocking. Lo and behold, I was already grounded at the time. And guess what that got me? That got me another month or so of being grounded. Like, I could not win. There was no winning. I was just completely butt-fucked 90% of the time. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't perfect. I don't think I can bring Yoshi through this door. Why did you let me bring Yoshi in this level at all if you knew that there was a boss door that I couldn't bring him in? I mean, that's just, that's just me talking here. Oh, fuck. I'm so dead. Do I have to spin jump on him? Let's see. Do I have to spin jump him? Or can I just bop him. No, I think you have to spin jump this guy. Let's try that one more time with a little bit more accuracy. A little bit more accuracy. Nope, you have to spin jump him. Alright. Oh, that didn't even hit him. Good. So you, there's a specific spot you have to hit him. Or else you just miss and you die. I don't think that counts. I don't think that counts either. There you go. That one counted. The little, you know, that little bow sound. Oh, you can hit him without him actually getting up. No, you can't. No, you definitely can't. Okay, this boss fucking blows. This thing sucks. It's like you have to hit him at the right time. And it's kind of annoying, to be honest. There you go. Oh, shit! Oh, good. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. There you go. I don't even know if that hit him. So, like, there's nothing I could do. Like, any time I fucked up, grounded. That's it. Done. See you later. Give me your Game Boy, give me your PlayStation stuff, give me all your controllers, give me, you know, anything. Give me your computer's power cord, your power cable or whatever the fuck it's called. Like, I couldn't do shit. That was it. It was done. Over. Oh, good. I lost my cape. Like, it was, it was pretty bad. And, like, a lot of times, when we finally did get high-speed internet, like, I, I had wireless internet because... Uh, my parents, for, you know, whatever reason, they decided that the internet should go in the basement because that was the main computer that everyone used. Unfortunately, if you're going to use wireless, the basement is probably one of the worst places you can put your internet setup at because if you're trying to use the internet, like, wirelessly, like a lot of people started to do in the house because we couldn't... They didn't want to run ethernet cables. 
They didn't. They didn't want it to look, you know, kind of jerry rigged. They didn't want to run Ethernet cables from, you know, the top floor to the basement. So we all had to use wireless. And if you're trying to use wireless from like, okay, so the house that we eventually had was we had a top floor, we had a, a ground floor, like a middle floor, and then we had a basement. So we're all on the top floor. And oh shit! Oh my stupid minions never do anything right. I'll deal with you myself. Prepare to meet your end, Mario. Oh good, the uh, the block's invisible. So we're on the top floor, and the wireless signal is coming from the basement. And I don't know how wireless technology is now, because I don't really, I don't really like to use wireless a whole lot. But uh, back then, the signal's pretty bad. Um, you'd get like a one or a two bar, and the internet was very spotty. It would go in and out. It would it would just be bad. It it sucked. So I, I had like this little wireless adapter for my computer. And the scariest thing I would always have is when I got home from school that it would be gone because then I knew that I was grounded for like four months again. It was terrible. Like, I'm so glad. I don't think I would ever go back to being a teenager unless I could have it be very different. Mario has defeated King Boo for now. That was odd. King Boo is back? I thought Luigi defeated him just before he restored the Dark Moon. Whatever he's doing, I have to stop him. Like, if, if I could make things be very different... I might go back and try it over again, because, like I said, high school was shitty. I was grounded all the fucking time. What the hell is going on here? Like, I was grounded all the time. Like, it was just a pretty, pretty bad experience. This once beautiful land has pl has been plagued by darkness and is now home to a gang of Charging Chucks. Be careful. I hate Charging Chuck. Have I told you how much I hate Charging Chuck? Really hate Charging Chuck. He's, like, terrible. So yeah, it, it, stuff like that would happen a lot. Like, it was just, it was bad times. Like, I'm very different from my parents. Like, they're they're very, they're very hardworking individuals. They're kind of old fashioned. Um, they're, they're not very sarcastic at all. So it was, it was very, I would get myself in a lot of trouble once I got older and I developed my sarcasm. I would get in trouble a lot because they would think I was being serious or I was being, you know, disrespectful and it, it would just be, It'd be bad times, sometimes. It was just, I'm very, I'm a very different person from, like, I, I like technology, I try to keep up with it, I'm sarcastic, I like video games a lot, like, my parents are very different from that. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we definitely clashed a lot, and it, it didn't go very well. That's all I'm saying. Things would often turn poorly for me because if I had a snide remark or, you know, a smart ass quip or if I quote unquote talk back, then, you know, guess who's grounded? This guy. So I couldn't take three steps without walking into a grounding post in my house. It was, uh, it was, it was like walking on glass that was covered in glass that had powdered glass on top of it with hypodermic needles filled with glass. Liquid glass. That was basically how it was. It was, it was terrible. Like I said, I if unless things could be completely different, like if I could re-roll how how being a teenager was, like I would never go back. Like there's no point. There there's absolutely no point for me to ever go back and try to re-experience the joys of being a child and a teenager because my joys were not joys. I had a pretty poopy time. Now was it the worst thing in the world? You know, no. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it, it sucked. Like, a lot of times it was poopy. So, uh, that's my story on getting grounded for everything. Of course, there are other things that, you know, I, I probably did deserve to get grounded for some things, but, like, three months at a time? Really? Like, wh why? Why is that necessary? I didn't do anything that warranted that. Like, it's not necessary to give me a fucking three-month grounding. Like, please, can we shorten that to maybe a week? couple days, a weekend, I don't know, something better than three whole months. Think about that, like 90 days, 60 days. Why are we facing Bowser? Look at how many fucking hammers this guy throws. Oh good, and he just spits out fire all willy-nilly. I can't do anything to this guy. Um, do I have to spin jump him then? Hold on, I'm keeping my power up. This boss fight is gonna be... This boss fight is gonna be dumb. Holy crap, man. Holy crap! Throw all your hammers, you fat fuck! Oh my god. I can't- I can't even spin jump this guy once. It doesn't work! 
What am I supposed to do to this guy? Are you kidding me? Nothing seems to be working. Um. Okay. Uh. So we have Bowser. Oh! Okay. Sure. Fireball worked. Maybe jumping on him did work. You know, when I, when I think of jumping on an enemy in Mario, and it hurts him, I usually think of, you know, a key sound that happens. Like, something that tells me that the enemy has been hurt, like the little bow sound. Like, something that shows me that the, maybe he flashes and, and gets stunned for a second. Like, something that shows me that he's getting hurt. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe sometimes I did deserve to be grounded, but I definitely don't think I deserve to be grounded for, you know, three, four months at a time. Two, three, four months, one month, six months. Like, I would just literally count the days. Like, have you ever seen a movie where someone's in prison or something and they're and they're writing on the wall, like, the little, the little lines to indicate the days? Like, that is basically what I was doing all of the time, and it sucked. Like, never in a million years... Would I ever go back to that time unless I know it could be a lot different? Because shit just blew. Shit sucks, man. So now we have a P-Switch, which I can't even... Oh. Alright. Let's see if I can glitch this out. Let's throw this over here. Alright. So if you didn't know, there's a, there's a glitch you can do. Oh, good! Never mind, I need to throw both of these down. There's a glitch you can do in Super Mario World. Uh, where uh, uh, some hacks actually require this, and it, it gets really annoying when hacks require you to know certain glitches. So if you if you pile up two en two uh, items next to each other, why are these enemies respawning? I'm killing them. Like why why are these? Have I killed these guys? Maybe I didn't kill these guys. Come over here. Oh my god. Maybe it's because of the fireball. No, that one guy's gone. I probably had to collect the coin or some shit. Please get down here. Please. You're dead. Who else wants to spawn in? Please, let's go. Let's do this. No, you want to spawn in? Like, what the fuck is going on here, dude? The hell just happened? Someone just screamed. I think someone got murdered, someone scared someone, or Clash is screaming like a girl again. So let me see if I can do this. Maybe, maybe I can't do this. Okay, so you gotta have two items kind of on top of each other like that. And you gotta sprint. And then you can usually pick up two items. Maybe it doesn't work with these two items, but I'm pretty sure it does. Like, I'm pretty sure it should. So maybe I can't get this glitch done properly. I, maybe I'm doing it incorrectly. No, I guess I can't do it. All right. What the hell is up there? Yeah, someone definitely just screamed, and it was kind of scary. Oh, good! What the fuck? Oh, there's a free life. Maybe that was what I needed it for. So never mind, I couldn't show you the glitch. I failed you. I'm sorry. I have most certainly failed you. What a bummer. So that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. It probably spanned across uh, several videos, because I don't know how long I've been talking for. Probably probably a little bit, at least by now. So when we come back next time... When we come back next time, we'll probably finish this hack up, actually. It was kind of a shorter hack. There's probably only, like, two to three levels left, so it might be a shorter video. I'm not sure. It very well could be. So that's what we'll do when we come back. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.